continue the game. Uh, K-State coaches and players just expect to win every year. It kind of falls in line with goal number 13 is expect to win, doesn't it? Well, it, you know, it does, but, you know, it goes back and there's a, a, a definitive statement that goes along with, you know, expecting to win. I mean, it's, it's easy to just say, okay, I expect to win, period, you know, and, and there's a, an if that goes along with that, and that's part of that, of that goal, if you will, that value, you know, if you prepare yourself well enough to do so and play significantly well enough to do exactly that. So there's, you know, there's ifs with with that, I mean, just for me to say, okay, you know, we're going to win, that's, uh, and not do anything about preparing for it, then, you know, that doesn't make sense. Coach, looking here at the Big 12's rushing leaders, you got Alex Barnes, a junior, David Montgomery, a junior, Justice Hill, a junior, and then Puka Williams is fourth as a freshman. He's obviously first on the team, is, is quite talented this year as a freshman. The, the first part of my question is, how impressive has he been? as a freshman, and I guess what, what is the challenge that he brings to the field in terms of stopping him? Well, I think he's, he is a very talented young guy, and that, uh, not, not because that's who we're going to play next, it's because he is a very talented young man. Uh, he creates problems for us and for anyone else because of the diversity that he brings to the table. I mean, he's, uh, you know, he's a young guy, when he's got the ball in his hands, he is just very difficult to uh, you know, to get your hands on, so to speak. We have to be, as any team would have to be, extremely well-disciplined in our tackling. You know, he can make you miss, he can make you look bad, you know, doing so. But uh, uh, that's not just, you know, when you hand the ball off to him because he's equally as effective in the passing game and uh, gets himself open and they get the ball to him and a, a decent, I mean, he's had games with six and seven catches you know, in uh, ball games that uh, make him a viable threat in that part of it as well. And how unique of a situation is this game, uh, considering that David Beatty has been fired at this point and he's going to finish out the year? I mean, does it, do you think that kind of generates a little bit of uh, excitement or motivation for KU coming in this one, trying to finish out the year strong for him? Well, I, you know, I, I think it will. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm pretty certain that it will. Uh, you know, I think the, the players really care about uh, David. Uh, he's, a, you know, he's a player's coach. And he's a good, good person, and I think they have, uh, you know, a great deal of respect for him and, and want to perform as well as they possibly can uh, in his behalf. So I, I think that would be an accurate statement. Kind of following up on, on Riley's question, obviously he's coaching Saturday knowing he's not going to return after this season. With as hard as his job is and your job is, how hard would that be, do you think, to stay as focused and prepared as maybe you have to be knowing that the summer's over? Well, knowing him, I think he'll be uh, equally as devoted to it as he has, always has been, which I think is considerable. Uh, I, I, don't, I wouldn't see any, any particular change in his motivation to do well. Which one? Uh, Delton. Uh, I would uh, like to think he will be, yes. Okay. And then right now, behind those first two quarterbacks uh, would be Hunter Hall, John Holcomb. Mm-hmm. Which, which one would be next in line? Well, we're, we're not to that point yet. You know, when we get to the end of the week, we'll have a better idea. Okay. Both of them are taking repetition, if, that's, if that helps. Do I have what? Any more clarity on Skyler's status than you did? Uh, about the same. Um, when it comes to Kansas State versus KU, I just one of the interesting facts about the series is each of the teams have only met one time when both teams were ranked. It goes back you know, maybe 100 years. Uh, just having coached KU yourself, what is maybe a unique challenge about approaching this area that seems to make it difficult for both programs to be at a high level with these guys being so young? Well, I, I don't know if I could truly, you know, answer the question. I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's not a matter of how, you know, collectively uh, we're one way or the other. I think it's just an individual thing. I think it's, uh, you know, it's Kansas State is Kansas State, and we have to do what we have to do, and that's KU, and they have to do what they have to do, and 
Uh, I mean, it's easy to say, okay, you know, small state, uh, you know, uh, not uh, not very many student athletes, uh, you know, and you bring you know youngsters in from outside of the state. Uh, uh, that's a little bit more of a difficult process. Uh, you know, I guess you could. Uh, you know, relate to one of the things that I've related to, but I again, I don't think it has that that impact. So I, anyway, I won't even address that part of it. But uh, yeah, I, I don't, I can't tell you that I really have an answer you know, for that. Kansas typically doesn't average more points than K-State does during the season. I think it's happened only three times in the last 22 years. What has made the Jayhawks better at scoring the football this season as opposed to previous years under Katie? Well, I think they've they've been uh, you know a team that that has the capacity to move the ball. They have uh, you know quarterback actually two quarterbacks that have had you know some success throwing the ball. I think they have some pretty talented wide receivers and uh, the young running back that they have has helped make a difference in that respect. But you know you're not going to score points without the help of the defense as well. And I think you find uh, that they have been a you know a team that. Uh, they're a little different schematically, defensively, and have given teams maybe a little bit more uh, difficulty than someone might uh, guess that they would. Uh, you know, and I think the difference in, you know, in points, if that's, uh, if that, I mean, uh, it probably it, it lies in, in our corner as much as anything because we, I mean, we've had, uh, what I think, five ball games where we've only scored twice in, uh, in a ball game. So, you know, we haven't, we haven't, held up our end of the, you know, the bargain as it relates to putting points on the board and being successful offensively. What do you think has, you know, it's, it's been, been a down year for the offense. What do you think have been the major issues that you could pinpoint them within the offense and, and the lack of production this year? Well, I, I would, uh, you know, some things I probably wouldn't share, uh, just, you know, just I'm never comfortable giving scout reports. Uh, but I think we, you know, we, we haven't had, you know, the consistency that we need. I mean, there have been times when uh, we've run the ball well. There have been times when we, when we haven't. Uh, you know, we haven't had the balance in our offense that, you know, to me has always been significant and important in regards to the balance between the run and the pass. We've worn that out in here uh, from time to time. Uh, I, I think that probably as much as uh, as much as anything, those two things. One other thing, how, how remarkable has Kansas' propensity to get takeaways this season? How remarkable has that turnaround been? Because last year, I think they only had nine takeaways. This season, they're number two in the FBS with 23. Well, I think it it is really substantial, and you look at a team that uh, uh, you know has. Uh, what I think 13 of those are pass interceptions, you know, which is a, a significant number uh, as well. And it's just, it goes back to what I was saying a little while ago. You know, I think they have uh, skill, they have the ability to, uh, they're, they're, they're a very physical defensive football team and consequently can create, uh, you know, the uh, fumbles, so to speak. Uh, they've got good quickness and speed in the back end and consequently can you know, break on thrown balls uh, and, and do, and consequently that leads to, you know, some interceptions. So I just think they've, you know, they're, they're playing well, and uh, they've, uh, it's not a matter of somebody just giving them turnovers. I think they've, they've created the vast majority of those just by good play. Coach, Isaiah Zuber is your team's leading receiver in yards, receptions, and touchdowns, but was the fifth receiver you used last Saturday. What's keeping him off the field right now? Uh, well, you know, when you, uh, it's not a matter of staying off field as much as it is, uh, you know, who gets the ball and how much they get the ball is reliant on what the defense does. I mean, if defense wants to, you know, cover uh, any individual player, then you're probably uh, not going to be able to get the ball to him as, uh, as much. And, and I think that's true, you know, across the board, you know, whether it's, uh, whether it's him or whether it, whether it happens to be a running back. I mean, if you want to line up and take away, you know, Alex Barnes got a lot of numbers, but uh, he, had, he doesn't always get those numbers. And, you know, if you line up, take him away, that's why we have to have balance in our, in our offense so that if you do, you know, decide who you want to take away, then we have the option or the capabilities, not the option, but the capabilities, 
you know, of being able to go on other directions. Well, I, I don't think there's any doubt about them wanting to. Uh, I think everybody wants to. You know, it's a matter of, uh, you know, what, what can we do uh, about that? You know, I mean, uh, you think about things that uh, in your lives that you want to do, you know, how invested are you in actually doing it? And that's, that's the key element for us is being able to be invested in it. You know, it's a tough time. You know, I mean, it goes, uh, you know, I don't have to tell you that, you know, for young guys. and. Uh, it, it's being able to get through that, to work through that, and to be able to put the adversity aside and uh, strive for that which is most significant to you. You know, that what you desire to do, then we have to do that. Just wanting to is, is not, not the total answer. You know, it's, it's doing something about it, you know, which is work and all that goes along with it. Well, I just, I like Alex's uh, toughness. Uh, you know, he's a competitive young guy and he, he brings, you know, some spirit to, uh, you know, to our players. I mean, they, they know he's going to compete, not that other guys wouldn't or not that Skyler doesn't. You know, it's just that he's, you know, because he, he gets banged up pretty good, you know, which is, is obvious and has been and takes some hits, but because uh, he's not the biggest, uh, biggest guy in the world. But, uh, you know, he just competes and he competes every snap. Uh, you know, he can, you know, he can do all the things that we've talked about. He has the capacity to, to uh, you know, handle the, the offense and things that we want to get into and out of and does a pretty decent job of that. And he's, uh, you know, he's not, uh, you know, he can throw the ball fine. Uh, obviously, you know, everybody thinks he's you know, the best runner and runs the ball well, but he, he's got good quickness, makes some people miss, but then again, uh, <coughs> you know, he's, he's, it, it's more about, you know, you got to have some help too, you know, and not that he, that he didn't, we just, we just didn't get enough, you know, and so, I mean, it's, it falls on everybody's shoulders, not, not any one person. Well, there are times that are obvious that you have to go for it. I mean, it's based on score and clock, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, by and large, the most significant thing is, you know, how, how comfortable do you feel, you know, being able to advance the ball? What kind of success are we having? You know, in, in third downs, we were, uh, we were uh, third and fourth down collectively, we were 25% in that ball game. So that just the sheer number, so you got, a quarter, you got, you know, one out of four chances to make it. Uh, our pooch punting has been very good. That one went in the end zone, so you know it, uh, it didn't play out the way you would like. But we have been very good, as was indicated in two other pooch punts. You know, we down one on the four, we get the other one, which he slapped back, and I believe was, you know, was a uh, a ball that should have been placed down on the one yard line or less than that. But nevertheless, uh, you know, we've had we we practice it diligently, and we've done a pretty nice job of being able to do that. So. You know, to me, there's a big difference between letting them have the ball on the, you know, 35, 36 yard line or getting it down on the one, two, three, four yard line. So it just didn't play out that way. Coach, obviously this, uh, this game Saturday kind of comes at a delicate time with, with both teams being tied for last place in the Big 12. I asked you after the game in Norman about the state of this ship and <coughs> you indicated you weren't sure if ship had been in this position before. I, I'm curious, have you picked up from the outside, um, maybe from, from fans or people of the state, any unrest about the current state of the ship right now? Well, I don't, I don't pay attention to what, you know, good, bad, or indifferent, you know, what goes on outside, so I, I can't tell you that I know. I would imagine, you know, people are upset and <coughs> about, uh, you know, the fact that we're, 
you know, whatever our record happens to be. Uh, but, uh, you, know, the, you know, the most significant thing is, you know, what, what takes place, you know, in this, in this uh, vicinity, you know, what, how do our, how are our players responding, and what, uh, uh, you know, what can we as coaches do, what can players do, and how can we uh, right the ship, so to speak, if that's a term you want to use, but how can we get ourselves better and uh, get back and be able to be as competitive as we need to be and as we're capable of being. Well, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's been uh, a combination of things. I think you go back early. Uh, we had some difficulty as far as pass protection. We had four sacks the other day. Uh, that, that has an impact on it. I think, uh, you know, we've got uh, tried, uh, need to do a better job of being able to get ourselves open and do a better job of being able to go through progressions. Uh, with our quarterbacks, I think all those things are most significant. I wouldn't, you know, it's not that, and that's not taking anything away from any of the other, any opponents, because I think all of them, you know, uh, you know we have good teams and good uh, coverage teams in our in our conference. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, as is everything else, is relying upon us and how well we perform, and uh, and just in in multiple areas, we haven't been able to execute things as we. Uh, I think are capable of should, and and that's that and, and haven't done it consistently. I mean, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. He's, you know, he played reasonably well. Uh, I mean, it, he didn't grade out, uh, you know, uh, extremely high, but nevertheless, you know, I thought he's, he's made progress. He's gotten a little bit better. He's made the position competitive uh, between he and uh, Abdul and consequently earned the, you know, through, and it was through practice, not anything else. It was through practice in which he, you know, earned the opportunity to start. So, and both of them will continue to work at that spot. But he's, uh, he's getting better and better and better for a young pup. Yeah. Uh, we've had several close losses this year. Some years it seems like you've won the majority of those games. Is there any, I guess, any common thread in those things, do you think? Or does it sometimes also snowball your direction if you have success or struggle early in those? Oh, that's a good question, and I really haven't gone back to, you know, to look at it. I, uh, you know, I would guess, you know, part of it might be that, uh, uh, the, you know, what you just indicated, you know, maybe it tends to snowball in whatever, whatever direction it happens to be going. I don't know, you know, if that's totally accurate or not. Maybe. I uh, just uh, can't tell you that I really have an answer, you know, it might. Uh, uh, at the end of the day when we, or at the end of the season, when we reflect back on it and do some evaluations, uh, you know, maybe in, maybe in other years we might have been better, better teams than, uh, than we are uh, or have been at this point in time. Just don't, don't have a, a real definitive answer. Yeah. 